So this is a three kilowatt portable solar powered generator that has the solar panels on all sides uh, with one side opening up. Inside we have the inverter and we have a battery bank. It's actually built on a single axle trailer, which means it can be towed by virtually anything. It's a lightweight frame. So whether it's a car, a truck, an ATV, however you want to move the unit around, it has the ability to really travel with you and provide power wherever you go. I think a lot of people find solar power daunting. So we really wanted to just try and simplify that and really make solar more accessible for people in a form like this trailer. Again, while there's components and there's technology inside of it, it literally runs itself. Like if you're able to flip the switch, the unit will provide power for you. This unit was actually our prototype, um, but there's also a five kilowatt trailer as well. So the solar panels are actually laminated directly onto a fiberglass reinforced structurally insulated panel. Uh, we've built a battery bank on top of the axle. So uh, the trailer is balanced. Um, the weight is distributed over the axle. This particular unit has four lithium ion batteries and each battery has two kilowatt hours per battery. But batteries can be added and subtracted depending on what you require for power. This has a, uh, your inverter, it's got your charge controller and an electrical panel in here as well. Uh, we've included in this one a charging station. So um, you're able to charge power tools, cell phones, laptops, anything that you need. And what's nice is on both sides, there's great space for storage. And, and really it sort of acts in the same way that a covered trailer acts. So we really tried to pair up that application so that somebody can still get that space that they, they need in a covered trailer, but the trailer then also becomes your source of energy. As we took the prototype out to talk to people, everybody's got their own idea about what they could do with the trailer. And so one of the things that we've, we've changed in the next generation of trailers is to move uh, the inverter and the charge controller onto the front of the trailer. What's fantastic about that is that you, now you have space that if you want to be able to put in plywood, drywall, two by fours, or anything large, there's not a, anything blocking the center. So you get way more space. And we eliminated the panels at the front and the rear of the trailer to prevent the risk of anything hitting it while you're traveling. So one of the great features of the Power Wagon is that it does have um, the side that lifts up uh, to capture more sunlight, creates covered space for shade. Uh, and then if there is inclement weather, if it's rain, um, if it's snow, you simply close the side of the unit and keep everything inside um, dry. But whether the Power Wagon is open or if it's closed, because there's so many panels, it's able to capture enough sunlight to make sure that the batteries are fully charged, which gives you the backup power that you need uh, in the evenings and through the night, even if the side panel is closed. With our prototype, we've kept this relatively low tech. So uh, really the panels are a lightweight panel. Um, two people can easily lift them. And then there's just bracing arms to brace the panel itself. But in the future generations of the wagon, we actually have gas struts in them so that it's operable and easy to manage for a single person. So accessing power in the, the power wagon is, is simple and there's a couple ways to do it. So inside the unit itself, it's actually wired that it has plugs inside of it so you can directly plug everything in. But then we've also included an exterior port. Um, so if there's something exterior to uh, the wagon, you can actually plug it in. So there's multiple options on, on how you can access power for the wagon. The really interesting parts of the power wagon is there's no sound, right? So everybody knows the sound of a generator. It's a very familiar sound. Uh, generators also produce smells um, and generators also require fuel. They require oil and they require maintenance where the power wagon itself is essentially maintenance free. So it literally uh, runs itself. There's a switch that you flick on. The system runs itself. There's no oil changes. There's no filter changes. Uh, really, it just has to be placed in an area where it picks up some sun and the wagon does the rest. So one of the questions we get is, is, is how long can you use the, the generator for? And so the answer to that really is dependent on what your draw is. The power wagon can provide, or can really be the primary source of power for that small style conservative type of living. It can run your lighting, it can run your cooktop, it, it can run the basic needs of power within your home. If you want to have it on a job site, uh, if you're working remotely somewhere there's not a generator or access to power, uh, it's a perfect solution to be able to provide power for any application. But uh, if you're trying to power a small home in the winter, um, depending on, again, what your draws are, 
this might become a supplemental source of power rather than your primary source of power. So like any source of, of anything that's solar powered, it's obviously it's reliant on the sun. And so it's not generating power during the night, which is why you have battery backup system. Um, but it's not a silver bullet either. And so uh, in some cases it can be used to offset regular generator use, or in other cases it can be the primary use. One of the primary concerns that we all have right now is the price of fuel. And so uh, there's a lot of interest from people looking at these um, as an alternative to fuel powered generators. When you buy the power wagon, it's a, it's a one-time cost, where if you buy a generator, you have the cost of the generator, you have the cost of ongoing fuel, ongoing maintenance, um, ongoing you know, oil. And so with regular generators, the costs continue. And so over time, those costs add up. Um, and I think there's comfort in an idea of being able to have a generator where it's paid for. And you don't have to worry about um, fluctuations in the cost of gas or diesel. So there is a calculation and an offset and a payback on these um, that's quite attractive depending on how often you're using a fuel powered generator. Um, but I think one of the things that we're all kind of cognizant of as well is just using renewable energy. So we're a home builder. Uh, we're a modular builder. But what led us to uh, the solar trailers was that one of the requests that we continually get is for people that want to live off grid or they want a power solution predominantly for housing in a different environment. So that could be a cabin, a cottage, a camp, uh, even ice fishing. And so we adapted uh, what we do at homes with our, our solar SIP panels uh, and created a, a portable power station. So one thing that we, we manage when we look at something that's off grid or people that are looking for this is just trying to understand what their power consumption is and then properly sizing the trailer itself to power the home. So the power wagon really pairs up well with our plunk pod homes. Um, so some of our plunk pods, we actually incorporate the solar directly onto the building itself. But we do have customers and clients that are also interested in having both. And so they might have a plunk pod that they require power for uh, but they'd rather have that power be portable so that they can use it in different applications. Our plunk pods are, are really modular living spaces. So they could be bunkies, they could be a small backyard flats, accessory dwelling units. So uh, the power wagon in itself is a great solution to be able to provide power to your unit, um, but then also be able to take that power on the road with you. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and please share this video if you liked it. You can also check out the Northern Shield website to find out more about Steve's solar power wagon and the Plunk Pod homes. And we've also got a great beginner's guide to home solar if you're interested in learning more about solar power for homes. Thanks for watching.